Hey, how's it going? And welcome to The Guitar Effect. My name's Rob. This is going to be the fourth video in my Golden Oldie series where I look at pedals that like either are not made anymore or are not really talked about, but that are kind of standards that have been around for a long time and still heavily function in people's rigs. Some of those, you know, are more prevalent than others, but the one I'm talking about this week is this. This is the Ultra Fuzz from Zoom. Um, this was part of a series that uh, Zoom brought out in the early 2000s of stomp boxes um, and it's really, really interesting. And it's, it's talked about because a lot of people think it's a clone of a Zvex fuzz face and I don't actually think it is from what I've read. I've never played a fuzz, not, not a fuzz face, a fuzz factory. I've never played a fuzz factory so I can't answer that. From what I can tell, there's pedal builders online who are saying that the while the controls are similar to a, a fuzz factory, that the innards are nothing like a fuzz factory. So um, the first thing we should do is have a listen to it. So here's the ultra fuzz in a track. Here you go. So there you go, like a, a really cool sort of stable sounding fuzz that um, I think you can use for both distortion and for kind of quirky lead tones. So I was going to talk about a little bit this, as I mentioned, this was one of a series of I think four pedals that Zoom brought out um, around the early 2000s. I know there was this and there was a Klong kind of uh, pedal, which actually, you know, considering these were like 2001 ish came way before the kind of hype around the clone, which I think is really interesting. So this one, um, to talk about the enclosure first of all, the enclosure is really heavy metal. It's got like a really solid rubber base plate, which I think is really interesting. It would be really hard to take this base plate off, but this is before people were really using pedal boards, at least pros were, but like amateur players that were playing in bands and stuff still had a lot of pedals that they would string up together on the floor and carry them in a bag. It has a battery compartment um, where you can put in a battery, it runs on nine volts, like, you know, DC at very low power. And then the controls here, we have gain, gate, which is unusual, color, rezo, tone, and level. Um, obviously, gain is the amount of distortion. Gate turns on a gate that the more you turn it on, the more kind of spitty it gets, but you have to compensate with the volume knob. The colour is kind of works with the tone to shape the kind of all overall tone of the pedal. I'll be honest, I can't figure out what the Rezo does. I talk about this in the audio demo. Um, at one stage, I've read that the Rezo kind of controls like the feedback sounds of this pedal. At one stage, I've played this pedal a lot, by the way, um, in the last two weeks. Belongs to the other guitar player in my band, Dan. He collects kind of old pedals. Um, at one stage it was kind of making this really interesting sort of feedback sound every time I would stop playing. And I think that's got something to do with the Rezo. But when I went, when I learned that and went to try and recreate it, I couldn't recreate it. I couldn't make it do it again. So it's a really quirky, really, really cool, inspirational sounding pedal. Then the tone knob controls the top end and the color controls kind of the mid range in conjunction with the tone. It's very complex. And then there's a level knob. And then there's a, a like plastic, but very sturdy. Is it plastic? No, I think it's metal. It's either plastic or metal, hard to tell, uh, switch. So there you go, that's the, the ultra fuzz. This is an unusual um, fuzz that is equally at home doing like thick distortion sounds as it is doing glitchy lead sounds. And it also sounds completely different into a clean amp and a dirty amp. I use the two notes revolt to demonstrate on the clean and dirty sound. So have a listen to it, here you go. 
Okay, so to demo the Ultra Fuzz, I am playing this Bernie uh, Le Gold Top Les Paul. It's just one of the recent Chinese made Bernie reissues. The P90 is a great guitar. I'll put a video about this guitar up here. I'm playing into the, out of the guitar, into the Ultra Fuzz, out of the Ultra Fuzz, into the input of the two notes, uh, Revolt, which is my guitar amp for doing these demos at home. Out of that, I'm uh, using the effects loop to put the 96M5 in for spring reverb and then straight into my interface. I'm going to demo, on the demo, uh, demo it on the dirty channel and the clean channel. We're starting with the clean channel. Here's the clean channel. So it's really super clean, right? So I'm peaking a little bit. So here's the clean channel. It's taking everything up full. Super clean. So here is the ultra full. As I said, it's it's got this very even, smooth texture as a starting point. Like all of the knobs are basically at twelve there. The gain's a little pushed. The levels straight up, and the the uh, color, rezo and tone are kind of just around the middle. sounds like you know really even like it's great for riffing and as a starting point I really like that with a fuzz it's very usable it's very predictable and I really like that so getting into the controls and I'll just show you as well on the neck pickup uh, Big and wool. Great for lead stuff around the 12th fret. Really nice, kind of fluid lead tone kind of thing. But same with the bridge pick. So, what do the controls do? Well, first, I'll come back to the gate. The gain, up full. Really sick fuzzy distortion, and if I went when the game back, that's kind of overdriving. Great pedal. So I like the gain kind of there. It's into kind of big muffy kind of, but it's got more mid range in a big. So then the color. If I wind the color all the way off, and it introduces low mids and bass. knob works very very closely in conjunction with this tone knob so the tone knob is really sensitive you get some really kind of widely varied tonal sounds to play for kind of, not super uh, saturated, but kind of saturated leads. To <laughs> Equally at home with this setting as well, doing chords and single notes. So I'll bring in the gate and I'll wind the gain back a bit. It starts to get a bit spitty. But all the volume's gone. When you use the gate, you've got to boost the volume. Even more. You can hear it dying there with the gate. And if I bring the gain up, the gate has less effect. just acts as a gate when you're playing chords. But when you're on lower settings, it gets very spitty. Right, so that's the gate. 
I cannot work out what this Reso control does. I think I just have. So there was a point when I was playing this pedal over the last few days, and I have played it a lot over the last few days, where it started doing this thing where it would make these really weird feeding or feedback beeping sounds in between when I stopped playing. And I read somewhere that the Rezo knob controls that, and it was doing it, but I can't recreate it, no matter, no matter how much I try. I thought maybe it was having some effect there on the spittiness. I think it is though. I don't know what the Rezo knob does. Maybe somebody in the comments will tell me. Okay, I'm a bit out of tune. What I'm going to do is tune up and then switch over to the dirty channel and show you that. Okay, so as all fuzz pedals should, it sounds completely different into the dirty channel of the Revo than it does into the clean channel. So here's the clean channel. Here's the fuzz fits, sets pretty like tame and. Here is the dirty channel, first of all by itself. Clean channel. Dirty channel on the Revo. Here is the fuzz pedal into the dirty channel on the Revo. Gotta like, give it a bit more tone. And then also for going back to the game. It's noisy, but it makes for an absolutely stellar, unusual fuzz on overdrive lead tone, it's gorgeous. Okay, it's very noisy. The other thing is the gate works totally different. It's more speedy on the dirty channel with less gate. And quieter. go as you can see it's a really really powerful tone shaping tool that can get you loads of really interesting full tones on a clean amp or a dirty amp so there you go the ultra fuzz the uf01 ultra fuzz from zoom if you can get your hands on one of these i think you could use it to record some really cool parts and get some really interesting textures on, on tracks so um, there you go, yeah, that's the fourth in my Golden Oldie series. So um, I'm going to be looking at the Boss, original Boss, like 80s, made in Japan, Flanger next. Very cool. So thanks for watching, especially if you've gotten this far. And if you have gotten this far, as always, I'll ask you to please like and subscribe. And hit the notifications bell so you can be kept up to date every time I put out a new video. That's kind of it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.